Good day, my television neighbors. Today I'd like to talk to you about Tubi TV, and it's a streaming service that we have here that you don't need a VPN to view the movies outside of the United States, which is great. I'm viewing this without a VPN. The only thing is you got to do is disable ad blocker. If you have ad blocker in your browser, you can view this on a Roku device. You can view it on a Android device on your phone. There's pretty much anywhere you can do it. They'll, if it ha if you have an app store or ch a channel that you can add, it'll work. it work on Apple TV and all that stuff. It's run by Fox Media Corporations. It's an alternative, a free alternative. Uh, there's no monthly fees for this service. How does it do that? Well, it shows ads like many of these free services like, like Roku Channel, like Crackle. So what I did to log into this with my web browser is I just logged in through my Facebook account. A lot of them just do that. They give you the option to log in through Facebook. So that's what I did. And uh, it has lots of movies like Terminator Genesis, which I checked out because I love the Terminator movies. Had a great build up with maybe not such a great turnout in the end. Kind of went and like, ah. But it was kind of cool to see that they went back to 1984 and there was this alternative universe. <laughs> uh, so here's a look at the movie selection here. I I'm not going to go through the whole selection. I'm just going to scroll to the bottom. But it definitely has a good selection of movies. It's probably not as big as other services. But as I say, it's free. I don't have a huge amount of time to watch movies. So it's kind of cool to have something to go to. I just actually clicked on a few things here. I was watching a bit of Terminator Genesis. Uh, it seemed to be the only Terminator movie on here. It didn't have the classic 1984 Terminator movie. There's a TV movie about called David. I remember watching this on TV way back in the 80s. It was like a movie of the night about a boy who suffers uh, severe burns. Um, I just checked this out because it looked like Johnny Lawrence here on the on the cover. I don't, I'm not sure who it was. It didn't give me much description of what was going on. And it has another movie called... I've never even seen these movies before because they're kind of... I don't know. I just never never heard of them. I never heard that there was a movie of My Breakfast with Blassie with um, Andy Kaufman and uh, Freddie Blassie where they're in a restaurant and they're talking. I didn't actually watch this movie yet, but I thought, well, if I have time, I'm going to watch this movie sometime. There's another movie, Mazes and Monsters with Tom Hanks. Another movie I never heard of, but it has Tom Hanks and it. it was made in 1982. Uh, the Price... Of fame with uh, Ted DiBiase. There's several documentaries and other films on this. So there's a selection of kids' movies. They have all the uh, some of the Ernest movies. There's uh, the Mr. Bean cartoon. There's Transformers. So definitely has a feel of Transformers and GI Joe, of kind of like uh, cartoon shows from the 80s, which is I think is pretty cool. Their website is tubitv.com. So when you go at the top, you can select your genre of films that you want to look through. Uh, there's there's a they even say what's leaving soon. So if you want to catch what they have on their service that they might not have the streaming rights at the end of the month, you can check that out. Nothing really here that really looks like it interests me right now. There's classics. That's what I like is I like classics. Now, there's not as many classics as I like to see, but a lot of what I see on all the streaming services, it's hard to find. I was looking on Real Good for like movies that I would like to check out. The site here, Real Good, and you can select the streaming services. I just selected them all so I can see what's out there. And they don't, it's hard to find exactly anything class, any kind of classic movies that I want to see, older movies, they're harder to find. So what I found with the ads is I was watching Terminator Genesis and maybe about 20 minutes into the movie, my experience was they showed about five different ads and they were kind of short ads, but they showed about five, uh, five different ads before you watch a video ad. Another thing is if you're using the web browser version with like what I'm using, you'll have to disable ad blocker plus I have it up here at the top of the screen to enable the ads. Also, if you're watching my channel, please disable the ad blocker for my channel so that you can help me in uh, in the content that I make. They do show ads, so I found when I was watching Terminator Genesis, uh, about 20 minutes into the movie, I saw about five different ads, so they played five ads in a row. But that's pretty much, I think there's still less than what you see on broadcast TV. Like, you'll watch a movie on broadcast TV, it's and they jam-pack ads throughout the movie. So there's stand-up comedy, there's collections cult classics here maybe I might, I might find something in here that i might want to see 
There you go, Hell Comes to Frogtown, starring Rowdy Piper. They don't have the movie They Live. That actually is, off. when I looked at Real Good, it was hard to find that film streaming anywhere. You can rent it, but you, none of the services like Netflix tend to have the movie They Live. But they do have Hell Comes to Frogtown right up here. And cult classics like Death Race 2000, starring Sylvester Stallone. So definitely something worthwhile checking out. There is lots of movies here. And there is uh, several different services that are kind of similar to this one where it will have... Uh, I'm going to do a uh, top five list in an upcoming video of top five free streaming services. And let me know in the comments what free streaming services you like. I've done a review on Pluto TV and Pluto TV has live channels, but they also have a streaming library as well. They also have several TV comedies that you can check out. Please check out freesatellitetv.net and also check out the new shop where you can order free satellite TV, LMBs, receivers, and dishes, all sorts of things for your free to air needs over at the freesatellitetv.net shop. So at the description of this video, there'll be a link to ExpressVPN and you can sign up for a one month trial or you can do 12 months and pay $8.32 per month and save 35% or get a six month plan. Using ExpressVPN will mask your IP address so that it will appear that you're in the United States if you are outside and you'll be able to stream whatever content you would like and have that privacy while you do it. One thing I've noticed is there's a huge library of reality TV shows. So that's my look at Tubi TV. I think it's a pretty good service. I'm not a huge fan of the library on here. It does have... Somebody probably will say in the comments that it is a B-movie thing or whatever. Well, they're saving private rhyme in there. Um, there, I would say that there's some B movies, but I'm actually a fan of B movies. Sometimes I like to see what's out there. And then there's movies like this, and you're just kind of like, why? And I'll find that in the featured section is probably where they'll show that they're their best movies that they want to showcase. And there's always the number one place to get free streaming content is the Robbie Strike YouTube channel with all sorts of free content for you to stream that will watch you can watch over and over again and stream it to your brain please subscribe to this channel for more updates about technology cord cutting free TV and just really cool stuff